guys, welcome to Challenge Network of Kenya. Today we have a new student. Her name is JB Kivuva. JB Kivuva is our student who is learning Braille and we are on the first topic of Braille lesson one introduction part. So welcome to our lesson. Learn with us and we hope that you will enjoy. Welcome. So this is the Parkins Braille machine. Parkins. Parkins, P E R K I N S. Parkins Braille machine. It is the manual uh, type of machine that is used to type Braille. And mostly it is used by students in Kenya and all over the all over the world. But here in Kenya, mostly they use the Parkins Braille machine and also they use slate and stylus to type Braille. So this is the Parkins. So. The part of a brain machine, as you can see, she has already drawn, and I will be able to tell her the parts, different parts, and their uses. So we have this. This is called the lever. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, we have the lever on the right side and on the left side of the machine. When you lift the lever. Mm -hmm. You are able to insert your paper. When you lift the lever, this roller goes, it gives space, so you are able to insert the paper. And when the paper goes in, this is called the roller. It is on the right and the left side, roller. So you roll the paper backwards, it goes in, and you lock the lever, and then you are able to start typing. You type using the keys. We have uh, these are the keys, and the keys they are also called. We have six dots. Six dots. Yeah, dot one, two, three. This is dot one. Oh, dot one. Yeah, dot this one. one. Yeah. Two, three, then four. Four, six, one. Yeah, four, five, six. So we have the six dots. The six dots are the dots which make all the dots used in brain. And then we have this is the space bar. Space it is bar. used to make a space when you type maybe A, space B, space C, like that. Mm -hmm. So this is the space. Then we have this is the backspacer you can see when you click it the lever goes backwards and then we have this is the line spacer right line it is like enter in the computer so when you put the paper inside and you click the line spacer mm -hmm. the the paper goes oh. once one line down, down one line down it's like enter so this is the line spacer then we have this is called the embossing head embossing the embossing head. head inside the embossing head are the six dots are embossing embossing it is used to emboss the dots so inside here embossing, embossing head head head, H -E -A -D. head. <coughs> embossing head so in the embossing head there are the six dots mm -hmm. and when you click you can see it is going down and moving the next the yeah. next space yeah. so and then we have this one it is called courage courage return courage return when you type the dots in brain, the head will go until the end of the paper. Mm -hmm. So when you are at the end of the paper, you need to bring the head at the beginning of the paper where you are starting to type the brain. So you use the carriage return to return on the margin. Then we have at the back, we have the right margin and the left margin. Right margin at the back, there is the right margin, right. margin, and left margin. So, if you want to 
maybe file your brain documents you must leave a margin mm -hmm. so that you are able to file your documents so you can press these two together and you can move the, the margin oh, yeah. you can it depends if you want to make whatever type of document so you will be limited to using that yeah. margin you will be limited to using that margin which you have set but normally <coughs> We start at the end of the right margin and the left margin. Mm -hmm. On the braille paper, there is normally a straight line, which is this small space here that will give you the margin. Okay. Then we have this. This this is called a paper stop. Paper stop. Paper stop. This one. When you put uh, the paper. Mm -hmm. um, this is used to create a, a stop somewhere. It is used to, to create a stop at the end of the margin. So it's called a paper stop. Mm -hmm. And this one below the head, mm -hmm. it is called a plate. It is called a plate. 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 Yeah. P L A T E. It is called a plate. And this is where you place your paper so the paper must go between the head and the plate yeah. it must go in between and then goes inside to the roller and then you use the roller to roll the paper yeah. inside so that is about the parts of a braille machine and when we start learning on how to type dots we will be able to know more on everything else on the on the brain so that is about our first lesson we will continue learning as we go so i'm going to introduce you to the brain alphabet that will be our next lesson thanks and cheers i hope you are able to enjoy our lesson